The gloves continue to come off and the political posturing over the state's new sex ed standards continue. New Jersey Senate Republicans hosting a forum today as the first day of school approaches. School boards themselves have been hosting heated meetings all year on how to implement the changes that go into effect this coming school year. They are meant to be taught in an age appropriate way and at the discretion of each district. But critics have called out topics like teaching gender identity to second graders and other aspects of the proposed lesson plan. The state has said it's going forward with the curriculum despite Republican attempts to delay or stop it. But as Ted Goldberg reports, they're not backing down. Parents and politicians continue to protest New Jersey's new standards for health and sex ed. My parental rights have been violated and my children's innocence will soon follow if a change is not made. Having a teacher, an adult, who is not my child's parents discussing genitalia with them up to the second grade is nothing, is something I never thought that I would have to worry about in my lifetime. State GOP senators hosted a Facebook Live today to call out and criticize lesson plans they say are inappropriate for children. If these materials were shown to your eight-year-old child by a neighbor, they would be charged with a Megan's Law offense. Why is it then okay for the schools to adopt this into their curriculum and force it to be taught to your children. Democratic State Senator Vin Gopal says some of the outrage is manufactured and political posturing. This has been a very uh, well orchestrated political campaign, uh, not just here in New Jersey by Senate Republicans, but it's, it's happened across the country. We've seen it where uh, for political purposes with elections coming up, uh, we've got politicians trying to purposely mislead parents thinking and trying to tell them that something is being taught in the classrooms that's not. Parents and advocates say their frustrations are real and they think the curriculum will in fact harm their children. There's the connection between home and school. Um, and I think that needs to be fostered more. The connection is, is um, being severed and it's being severed, severed deliberately, I think. Um, they don't want parents involved. That's why we need to bring attention to, to all of this. Um, and that's one of the reasons why I am going to run for Board of Ed in my local district as well. I see what's happening and I am uh, very upset. It saddens me. You're introducing concepts around sexuality and gender uh, identity that are far beyond the child's ability or maturity cognitively. And when you do that, it's traumatizing to a child. It adds confusion to a child. It makes the child doubt um, their ability to reason. And this sticks with them for life. New Jersey schools have taught sex ed since the early 1980s, but with the new guidelines on the table and the start of school approaching, Senator Gopal says it's hard to have an honest discussion when the rhetoric around the debate has grown toxic. They're saying awful things, words like grooming and sexualizing children. This has gotten to a really dangerous and unhealthy place. And unfortunately, it's all for a bunch of politicians just trying to gain any type of power because uh, they haven't been successful so far. So their, their goal now is to try to scare parents. The Middletown School District is asking students to opt into sex ed, while the default for most state schools is opting out. Senator Gopal introduced a law that would mandate that these lesson plans be posted online for people to review. It got introduced, the Senate Republicans uh, opposed it. Obviously, the, and this is politics for them, so they don't want that piece of transparency because the more people know, that makes their argument harder when they see nothing inappropriate is being taught. It's a smokescreen. Uh, being transparent about a lousy curriculum doesn't make that lousy curriculum any better, does it? Class is back in session in the next two weeks, but it doesn't sound like this controversy is going away anytime soon. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Ted Goldberg.